and welcome back to My Cup Cake Addiction. This week in preparation for Mother's Day, I have been doing some gardening, but not actual gardening. I'm not really into that. This is cupcake gardening. So I'm going to be showing you how to use these tiny terracotta pots. You may have caught my last video where we did some little flower bouquets in the terracotta pots. Today we're doing simple vegetable garden flower pot cupcakes. The things that you're going to need today include some little tiny terracotta pots. So I got these in the US at Joann's for like a dollar each, but I know they also sell them at places like Bunnings here in Australia and they shouldn't be too expensive. I've got some fresh mint. We're going to be using fresh mint instead of going to all the trouble of making candy leaves that never actually really look like leaves. We can use actual edible leaves, which is going to really make our vegetables look pretty vegetable-y. I've got a bit of Nutella. You can use any frosting you want, but make sure it's a chocolate frosting so you've got the brown because we're going to use crushed brown Oreo cookies for our dirt today. And for my vegetables, I'm using some Starburst. So I've got one purple, one red and one orange for my three different types of vegetables. You'll also need some scissors, a toothpick and a spoon. Let's get started. So with these little tiny terracotta pots, you can actually bake directly in the cupcake by just placing a cupcake liner inside the terracotta pot, pouring in your cupcake batter as usual and cooking it in the oven. You can also just bake cupcakes in, I'm using a regular size cupcake case, and stick them straight into the pot. So it's completely up to you whether you want to bake normally or whether you want to bake directly in the pot. Kind of guess it depends on if you've got a muffin tray. With these guys, I am going to decorate them out of the pot and then place them in the pot. And I had a couple of questions the last time I used these as to how you get the cupcakes out. There's a little hole in the bottom, so if you need to, you can poke a little skewer or a toothpick or something up and just pop that cupcake right out. Otherwise, dig into it with a spoon. I'm going to use Nutella today because Nutella is one of my favourite types of frosting. Using the back of my spoon, I'm just going to kind of scooch that around a little bit so it's covering right out to the edges. And then with my finely crushed Oreo cookies, I'm going to level them off in the little container and then just roll that cupcake straight down in those cookies. Perfect. There's your little dirt covered cupcake. So you can sit that just directly back into your little terracotta pot. Another thing to consider when you're doing this is you want to use a relatively dark coloured cupcake liner. If you use something bright like a pink or a white, you're actually going to see a little line of colour in between your terracotta pot and your dirt, and we don't want that. So now we're going to use Starburst lollies to make our little vegetables. You could also use something like taffy or of course fondant, but I wanted stuff that was pretty easily available. I'm using purple. So the regular colours have got the orange and the red, and the purple was out of a, one of the different flavoured lots of Starburst that they do, so you might have to look around for that one. This is going to make a beetroot. I'm just going to use my fingers and just squish it into shape. Depending on what sort of taffy you're using, you might want to put it in the microwave, but literally guys, five seconds because that stuff will burn your fingers off. It gets incredibly hot, incredibly fast, so don't over microwave it. You can see I'm just pressing it into kind of like a little ball shape. And once it's in a nice little ball, I'm just going to use my fingers to kind of just pinch down so that I get that nice little beetrooty sort of a shape to the bottom of it. And then we'll take a toothpick, drive a nice little hole into the top. And you want to choose your little mint leaves here. So you're going to have a bunch of different types of mint. It comes in like sort of long pieces, there's little tiny small pieces. I found the smaller pieces best for the carrots. Ones with longer stems are really good for our radishes. And this beetroot, you kind of want a relatively sort of, I guess, a long bushy one. That one looks just about perfect. I'm happy with him. Now you want to make sure that you snip off the very, very bottom so that all you can see is green. And then you're just going to slide that straight into that little toothpick hole and just pinch the very top nice and tight together so that it just traps that little mint leaf in there. Look at that, we've got a gorgeous little edible beetroot. Now before you put that onto the cupcake, because you've put cookie crumbs onto the cupcake, it's not going to stick straight down. The cookie crumbs have made that cupcake now non-stickable. So use your toothpick and just move aside a little bit of that cookie crumble and it also creates like a little bit of a dip or a little well for your beetroot to sit in. And then I'm going to apply just a teensy bit of Nutella, just a teensy bit onto the back. And we're going to stick that straight down into our little flower pot. Perfect. There's our first little beetroot garden flower pot cupcake. I love these guys. They're so adorable. Moving on to our radishes now. So you want to take your red starburst and we're going to cut that with our scissors. Scissors are just the easiest way to cut something like a taffy or a, a sticky chewy candy. And we're going to cut it into four pieces. So snip it in half and then snip each half in half. I only ended up doing a bunch of three radishes because four just felt a little bit too many. But you could do a couple with two, a couple with three, even one with four if you want. Once again, you're just going to press it and I'm not even really rolling it. I'm just kind of forcing it with my hands into a little bit of a ball and then with my fingers taper it off to a point. 
Out comes our toothpick and another little hole in the top. One thing that you want to consider here is these little mint leaves, they'll last a few hours, but any longer than that, the little mint leaves are going to start to go black. Now for your radishes, you want to try and pick like longer pieces of your mint because they normally come in sort of like bunches with quite a long top on them. Perfect. Once again, we're just going to slide those little end pieces straight into those radishes. And then you want to grab all three of your radishes and you kind of want to bunch them together. Just put the radishes straight down on your little blob of Nutella and you're ready to go. If you happen to have any exposed Nutella and you can still see it, just take some more of those little crumbs and this kind of helps it to make it a little bit more dirty and a little bit more gardeny anyway and just cover it up because we don't want to see any Nutella. There's your radishes ready to go. Now we're going to finally make our two little carrots, starburst candy in orange flavour. You're going to cut that directly in half and that's going to be the perfect size for two carrots. So for these guys, all you need to do is just kind of squish them out a little bit and as you're squishing, pinch one end quite significantly and in goes our little carrot top, like so. Now for these guys, I actually want to dig one carrot in so that it's sort of standing up. So I'm just kind of gouging a little hole in all of that Nutella and then I'm going to take the prettier of my two carrots and I'm going to drive him in so that he's standing up nice and tall and proud and he can lay down right next door. So that's it. That's how you make some really gorgeous little cupcakes that are going to absolutely wow any gardener. Anyone that enjoys gardening, that loves vegetables, whether it's mum, whether it's dad, I reckon my nan would love these. These cupcakes are super simple, really effective, and they're made out of taffy, Nutella and Oreos, so what's not to love? If you're not already subscribed to My Cupcake Addiction, make sure you do for two new videos every week. And as always, guys, thanks very much for watching.